Hello everybody, welcome to our Saturday meditation. I am Lopi Clint, and it's very good to be online with all of you. So, for those of you who are new, meditation, just two simple steps. One, relaxation, and two, consciousness. Hello Marianne, it's always good to be here online with you also. Oh, hello John, and I know Wendy's there too. <laughs> so, thank you for joining. So as we meditate together, Remember, one and very important thing is to let go of all your expectations. When I get it started, I always talk about this. Sometimes our expectation is actually what holds us back. It's like an invisible wall holding us from where we could be. Sometimes we don't even realize it. And for meditators, it's not as obvious as for those who are brand new. If you're just starting meditation, most of, the, most of your times is your expectation is trying to get inner peace or that wonderful relaxation easily. <laughs> but for meditators, if you've already been meditating for a while, sometimes your expectation is very, very refined. It's even, it's like a fine line, like a fishing line. You can't really see it unless you're really looking for it. So sometimes it's just a little bit holding you back and you don't realize it. I realized it that I had the same kind of problem. I would meditate in a way that I was waiting for something to happen instead of just letting it happen. <laughs> and uh, meditators have this problem, have this little bit of a challenge, a little hurdle to go over because when you've felt this wonderful peace from within, you want it again and again. So it unintentionally becomes your expectation. So we have to let it go. Instead, really enjoy the moment, as that's what meditation is. It's a process for the mind to really calm down. But while in calm, it's a way to let us be content, relaxed, happy with whatever is going on. Doesn't need to be wonderful, but doesn't mean you have to be happy when it's really bad either. <laughs> but it's comfortable, content, just okay. So if you can remember, feeling okay is good then feel okay <laughs> and what's funny is when you let okay be good suddenly it gets better and better even quicker than before so let us all get into our perfect position as I like to call it <laughs> get into the position that feels most comfortable to you and now gently close your eyes Let us take in a deep breath. Breathe in the cool, calm, relaxing air. And breathe out all your worries, thoughts, and responsibilities. <coughs> Excuse me. Just let it all go. Forget about it for the time that we are meditating. Just breathe in, breathe out. Let each breath of fresh air help you become more relaxed, more comfortable. Take in a few more deep breaths, as this is a natural and easy way to relax. And once you're ready, you can return to normal breathing. And now, let us do a body scan. Relaxing, starting from the top of your head, relaxing your forehead, your eyebrows, your eyelids, very gently closing them as if you are about to go to sleep. 
letting your eyelids fall very gently, very lightly, like a feather falling on the still water. Then relaxing your nose, your cheeks, your mouth, down to your chin, letting your entire face become completely relaxed, and let the relaxation flow down. Your neck, releasing and relaxing all the muscles in your neck, letting it loosen and lighten, being completely relaxed. And relax the muscles in your shoulders. Feel your shoulders becoming very loose, very light. Feel like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. No pressure, no tension, just at ease. And comfortable, let the relaxation flow down to your arms. Let it trickle down from one muscle to the next. Releasing and relaxing down to the tips of your fingers, letting your arms feel very light, very loose, very comfortable. Then relaxing your chest, your abdomen, and your back, slowly going down your back, one vertebra at a time. Feel like you are getting a massage, releasing. Relieving and relaxing all the muscles in your back, little by little, inch by inch, letting all the aches and pains melt away, leaving only comfort. And relaxation, all the way down your back, and let the relaxation flow down to your legs. Let it trickle down from one muscle to the next. Releasing and relaxing down to the tips of your toes, and just feel your entire body completely relaxed, completely comfortable, feeling like you can sit like this forever. Or for as long as you'd like, as we know, 
the first step is relaxation, or really contentment. Feeling okay, just right. So once you find that contentment feeling, we move on to the next step, consciousness or focus. And we visualize our meditation object. As we know, it can be anything, a crystal ball, a sun, a full moon, a bright star. Let it be something simple, easy to picture, or really something familiar, something you like. As I mentioned once, in my teenage years, my meditation object was a 97 Lamborghini. It was bright red, butterfly doors, the racing spoiler, and the special rims. I had a very detailed one object. It helped me keep my teenage mind calm, relaxed, on this one thing, though it is very detailed but it helped me stay on this one thing. As my mind became more calm and relaxed, my image became more general. From very detailed 97 Lamborghini with the butterfly doors, the racing spoiler, <laughs> the bright red color and rims, to eventually car, Later it became a wheel, then a lug nut, until it became what I like to use now, the crystal ball or the full moon. So your object can change, whether it changes on its own or you change it yourself. For example, some days you might feel like visualizing a sunflower. Another day, you feel like a rose. Another day, you feel like a daisy. Another day, a dandelion. The point is, let it be something that you like. Something simple, easy to picture. Makes you feel calm and relaxed. If your object started off as something calm and eventually caused you to think more, it's a good time to change your object. For example, one of our students, she told me she would think of her son. She could see him sitting in the meditation position. And after a while, he would get up and start running around just like at home. By that time, she realized visualizing her son was not a good idea anymore. Her mind would begin to wander and worry. So let it be something simple, easy to picture, something you like. And this object or image, we visualize it at our center in the Dhammakaya technique or middle way technique. The center is in the middle of your abdomen, two finger widths above navel level. This is your center, your center of gravity, the absolute center of your body. Do not be too concerned with the exact location. Let your mind visualize where it feels most comfortable to you. Whether you visualize in front of you, behind you, beside you, 
or inside you. Let that point be your center for now. And as your mind becomes calm, clear, and peaceful, your mind will naturally move to the right location. No need to push, no need to pull. Just let it be. Let yourself be right here, right now. Taking this time for a mini vacation for your body and your mind. As we let the environment help your body feel comfortable and relaxed, and your relaxed body helping your mind to be more calm and relax. As during this mini vacation of ours, there is nothing you need to do. You don't need to go anywhere. You don't need to plan. Instead, we get to rest. Our body can sit comfortably and relax our mind not needing to think, letting it be vacant and relaxed, just enjoying this calm, relaxing experience. Letting yourself truly be in this quiet, setting where your mind begins to quiet down and in this quiet and stillness we are completely relaxed both body and mind But naturally, your mind may begin to wander, thinking of many things. So we use the mantra, Samma Arahang Samma You can repeat this mantra in your mind as many times as you'd like, or use your own mantra, word or phrase. For example, relax, sabai, clear and bright. Using your mantra as a tool to help calm and soothe your mind and to bring your mind back to your object, back to your center. Oh.
Balancing our relaxation and our awareness, getting them to be perfectly 50 50, balance just right. As we practice, the good thing is we can just observe. And we realize when our balance is off. If we have too much relaxation, add more awareness. If you have too much awareness, add more relaxation. We continue to use our meditation tools as if you need more awareness. You can visualize the meditation object through the body scan, recite the mantra, or if all else fails, you can open your eyes for a little while and then begin again when you are ready. If you need more relaxation, Use the body scan, the mantra, but do not use the visualization. If your awareness is already very high, trying to visualize even a relaxing object may end up causing you to have even more awareness. So as I mentioned before, these are our meditation tools. Use the one that works at the right time. Sometimes we want to use the visualization. Sometimes the mantra alone is just fine. Some days you need both. And some days you feel content with just being at your center. And just like tools, once they have finished their job, there is no need to continue using them. So as our mind becomes calm, clear, and peaceful, your visualization or your mantra may fade away. Do not be alarmed. Do not feel the need to continue reciting or trying to bring your object back. Just let yourself be right there in that calm tranquility. Your meditation object or your, or your mantra has done its job, helping your mind come to a standstill. And that's where we let our mind be, right there. And just observe. Observe this vast emptiness, this calm stillness.
as that feeling, when you've reached this point, is only the tip of the iceberg. And to continue on, you must be observers, not directors. So take your time, don't rush. Let your mind be calm, clear, and peaceful. Um, uh,
Now, let us begin spreading loving kindness. Spreading loving kindness is like spreading out your heart, sending out good intentions to all beings. So let us visualize our object as we have been doing. Imagine that your object becomes crystal clear, clean and bright. And at the center of your object, there is a bright light. This light is very special. All those who touch this light are instantly happier, healthier, and more at peace. So we let this light illuminate our bodies, filling our body with light. Then let this light shine out from you, filling the room, then filling the city and the surrounding cities, filling the state and the surrounding states, filling the country and the surrounding countries, until filling the entire world and out throughout the universe. Thinking of our loved ones, our family, our friends, our close and distant relatives, our co-workers, acquaintances, all the people you know and all the people you don't know, to all sentient beings, all the animals in this world. And even thinking to the heavens, to our friends and relatives who have passed away, wishing well for every one of them. And as we are spreading loving kindness, you can make a wish for yourself. Perhaps to be healthy, to be wealthy, successful, to gain wisdom, attain enlightenment, for world peace. Let us take a moment to make our good wishes. Sapte Buddha Parapata Pache Gananja Yang Palang Arahanta Nanjate Jena Kampanta Misapaso Sapaputta Nupa Vena Sapatama Nupa Vena Sapasanka Nupa Vena Sata So Ti Pawan Do Te And now very gently 
and at your own pace, opening your eyes. How are you guys feeling? <laughs> so we just meditate together for 50 minutes. If you came from the beginning, that was 50 minutes. As today, it was more catered toward those who already meditate. As uh, gave you a little bit more time to have silence. <laughs> so, how did it feel this time? At this time, it's a good time to check and see how you did. Did it feel easier? Did it feel more challenging? Did it feel about the same? Did time just fly by? These are all experiences that people have. And it's a good way to gauge, see how you're doing. Because each time we meditate, we observe at the end, observing or really observing our progress at the end. What did we do this time compared to other times? What did we do differently? What did we do the same? And from doing that, you start to find out or find ways that work best for you. This way, your meditation continues to improve rather than just be stuck at the same place. And for many of us, just being able to relax is already a good place to be. If you're stuck at relaxed, it's a good place to be stuck. <laughs> it's not exactly stuck. You're actually doing it just right. But sometimes it feels like you're stuck because you're expecting more. And that's that expectation I was talking about in the beginning. If you have that expectation that it should be more, it should be more, you'll just be stuck. Instead, enjoy it. Take your time. Let it happen on its own. So, I have a quote for you all. As, of course, I do have a... Uh, I open the floor to all of you. You can write in your comments, whatever you have, um, any questions or anything. Also, uh, let me know about the audio. I know we've been messing around with the microphone here and there, and sometimes we're too quiet, sometimes we're too loud. Uh, today, I want, just wondering how, how I sound today. That way we can continue to improve. <laughs> As, uh, that way I can also uh, share the information to our, our staff so they know how to do it also. Well, while waiting for your comments, because there is a 10 second delay, um, I'd like to show you a quote. This one is from Don Pao Tamashiyo, our master. It's called Centering the Mind. So, to center the mind means to imagine softly. This is talking about visualization. You know, it's supposed to be softly, gently, okay? Not too harsh or trying too hard. It's similar to when we think of things that we love. So think of something that you love. Remember I mentioned... Uh, that 97 Lamborghini when I was a teenager, that was my favorite car at the time. That helped me relax. <laughs> From there, imagine easily and comfortably. Notice that. Easily and comfortably. Notice how we have to remind ourselves often about this. Sometimes when we imagine, we force ourselves too much. Sometimes you actually force yourself to see an image. Do you see it? Yes, you do see it. But how do you feel? Not very comfortable. <laughs> so it needs to be easy and comfortable. This is called centering the mind. Because when you can center your mind, it should have that balance of relaxation and awareness. Not just, I can see, I can see. <laughs> okay. As I mentioned before, seeing is not the goal. Whatever you see is more like a bonus. It's a way to let your mind saying, good, keep going, you're doing it right. So, again, centering the mind. When you visualize, imagine softly, gently, easily, and comfortably. Like it's something you're thinking about that you love, okay? <laughs> this is from Lompa Tamashiyo. This is my uh, just trans translation to send to all of you. So of course, uh, oh, thank you, John, for letting me know that the audio is okay today. <laughs> as uh, I know that's been something we've been struggling with, <laughs> as technology is, the, you know, it's always something new to, to adjust to. So I want to say thank you all for coming and to always coming and joining us in meditation. If you have comments and I didn't get to your comments today, or at least um, during the stream, I will reply right after this, right after I end. So thank you all again. Join me next time. And definitely click, click, share, like, 
send to whoever you think is someone who, who needs a little bit of meditation, needs a little bit more calm and relaxation in their life. And now I'd like to give you a blessing. May you all be blessed with happiness, good health, wealth, success in your lives. May you be surrounded by good friends who will always guide you into the light, in times of darkness and in times of need. And when you close your eyes to meditate, may you attain inner peace easily and quickly. So thank you again, everyone, and have a wonderful day.